Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to We Africa. This is our channel. This is a channel where we discuss so many issues, especially issues that are political, social, and uh, maybe sometimes health issues. But um, we have not been very active on this channel because of several issues, because of uh, several health issues that have been that have been experiencing. But I think I'm getting better and. Uh, I think I want to document some of these issues on uh, maybe on a separate channel just to highlight uh, some of these problems say you come across them and uh, what kind of solutions you can seek or what kind of solution you have what kind of uh, answers you have at your disposal because some of these uh, health issues can be very painful sometimes and they can stop you from working like I want to I wanted to work hundred percent on this channel but I couldn't and I'm coming here intermittently which is something that I don't want because my channel cannot grow if I come intermittently like this and uh, it can only go if I post regularly and I'll try to do the posting of uh, these videos regularly so that I we, we, we discuss these issues and uh, also you you are familiar with my channel we are familiar with this channel you are familiar with the issues that we discuss here and um the channel will grow and you will share more which is basically the main thrust which is the gist of what we are doing here today i come here with uh, the issue of my gao gao gaozela a guy who is liked by so many people uh, we went to England recently and the king's government is made. The king's government is uh, has gone bananas over it. It's uh, really has gone harimongous about it. They, didn't, they don't know how or they don't understand or they don't want to understand how it happened because they feel like uh, maybe even outside Swaziland, Gauzela should be a prisoner to their whims. They feel that uh, he should remain imprisoned and should not move to any other place anywhere else in the world because that is what they want to happen. This trip, though, exposes the weakness of Mswati state intelligence or its lack of complete loyalty to Mswati's government. Maybe so there are cracks. I feel that there are cracks in Mswati's intelligence uh, unit that uh, maybe are even sometimes maybe aiding the opposition, which will make sense because Mswati's government doesn't make sense. So anything that is outside the parameters of Mswati's government maybe would make sense to a lot of people. And uh, not only to a lot of people, it, or, or they, it will make sense to me also and to my family and to everyone else. If he is a wanted man, they, they, they feel that Mswati, I mean, they feel that Gauzela is a wanted man. And I'm saying here, if he's a wanted man, and the uh, international community shared that Interpol would have arrested Gauzela as soon as he was maybe in London. That is the work of Interpol. If they feel that he is maybe a fugitive who has committed a serious crime in his country and uh, they recognize the level of uh, and the gravity of his. Uh, a mistake or the gravity of his the uh, the error that he has committed the gravity of his criminology let me put it that way they would have arrested him what the regime fails to notice is that Gausela is only a fugitive in Swaziland but outside the Swazi borders he is a hero and respected technician tactician uh, I, they feel like maybe everyone should share this, their sentiments. Everyone should share how they view certain individuals who are fighting for democracy, whom they regard as dissidents. Everyone in the international com community, they feel like they should share that. Uh, that's, it's quite unfortunate. It's a quite myopic and a quite paranoid way of looking at things because the way you feel about someone... <laughs> It doesn't necessarily translate or it's not shared among everyone else, especially people like Gauzela, who are people who are fighting for democracy. And uh, most people, especially journalists and especially people in Europe, let me take people 
who are in Britain, for instance, where Gauzela went and talked to several uh, MPs, would surely support Gauzela because they, with their natural flay towards, uh, towards justice and democracy. And uh, if the regime thinks that, maybe they are getting this false sense of uh, everyone should share what I think from what the Americans are doing and what the Americans would be doing in this case maybe is uh, motivated more by their interest like maybe their the affiliation to 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 to, to the affiliation with this uh, country Taiwan and so forth let us look at countries maybe whose interests are not motivated by any other such sentiments uh, like Britain in this case I think Gauzela was he really did have this was a very good move that he made I, I feel that Gauzela what Gauzela did he is really is very we should all applaud and be all be very grateful and really we should do, look upon what he did as something that really shows that he's a leader because now he is going to really be heard more than before they will listen to what he's saying and uh, talk to him face to face instead of maybe hear things through the radio or through social media which sometimes uh, is people fail to believe because social media you have to take everything that you read there with a pinch of salt and uh, you have to read between in between the lines. Now, if you meet someone face to face and uh, physically, and you are having a discussion, that changes the whole scenario. And uh, I think this is what is going to help the situation in Swaziland there. And as far as uh, democracy is concerned, this move, I think, is one the best move that Gauzela has ever made since ever since he formed his party. And uh, really. We are all going to even change the way we look at him and the respect that we give him. I think I'm going to give him much more respect because of this kind of move. And uh, I never thought that it was going to be possible, just like Mswati's government, they never thought it was going to be possible for him to go to, uh, to, go to England. Uh, because they always stand with these uh, ambassadors and they, when they stand with the ambassadors, maybe sit over, I mean, around the table drinking over a cup of coffee or a mug of beer. They think that uh, maybe these people are supportive, are in cahoot with the, all the inhuman uh, activities that they are doing in their country. They don't realize that maybe sometimes people are just trying to be polite uh, to just trying to be courteous and uh, just trying to be very diplomatic they can't sometimes in terms of international relations just come plating blat out that hey what you're doing is wrong but they will be realizing that what you're doing is wrong and uh, maybe in the shadows there they will be supporting the very people that they think are doing the right thing so a the, it's, it's, it's quite a complicated situation that is created here, but it benefits the democracy. This incident should show Mswati's regime that it doesn't have total control and hold of individuals, and that it is not as powerful and effective as it imagines itself to be. Because I think this Mswati government uh, imagines that it has power everywhere and it has power to do anything. Now they have just been reduced to size by Gauzela's visit to England. They, they've come to the realization that there are certain things that they can't really control, certain actions that will happen whether they like it or not. Magaga was able to engage the British MPs march to the chagrin of Mswati's government. There is so much chaos and confusion in Mswati's government trying to figure out how this happened. This should serve as an eye-opener to Mswati's regime 
the Zambian president might have come and gave him Swati the feeling that the international community is friendly and is in tandem with what he does. Now Gauzela's visit would show everyone what we have always seen, that Mswati's government is regarded as an embarrassment to politics by the international community. Who in his actual sense would support the existence of a dinosaur in this day and age? Which is what Mswati's government is at the time because it is the only government of its kind existing at this moment and whoever would stand in support of it like Taiwan for example, really of course I understand world politics but uh, surely to support a dinosaur at this point in time will be something that we will regard as only pathetic. Now the world, especially Britain, got to know firsthand what is happening in Switzerland through Gauzela. They know firsthand now if, uh, of course, the king is always in a strong position because they assume they have got a queen there and the king should is somebody that they regard in they put in very high regard so now that Gauzela went there and uh, is expounding the problems that Swaziland is facing I think it will make a very very big difference and I'm telling you you will see a very big change not that they will try to overhaul or to remove him or anything but the minimal support, the support that they give, even if it is in small measure, will be okay rather than, you know, half a loaf is better than nothing. And in this case, I think it will be better to get something. Even just moral support is better than just mere, mere indifference. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I should stop this video here. I think I have done some analysis and uh, thank you so much for watching the video and I really urge you to share this video with a lot of your friends and we are going to do a lot more videos so despite the, 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 the hurdles that we are facing surely Swaziland is a case in point and we need to really make our contribution join and to make sure that we contribute to the defeat of Mswati's government and all that it represents because the Swazi people cannot continue to suffer simply because we choose to keep quiet and remain silent about issues that we can clearly see. Thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. This is We Africa. Please you must subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. You will discover that as we go on there is a lot of refreshing information that you'll get from it. Thank you so much.